Howdy, I'm Nathan Lambrecht. I'm the photo editor here at The Monitor. One of the things I used to enjoy doing back uh, when photography was still on film is to shoot Polaroids. And part of that is the ability to shoot Polaroid transfers. Now I've got here my old Mamiya RZ. It's a studio camera. I've got an old Polaroid back on it. Now, you can still buy Polaroid film, or not really Polaroid film, since Polaroid went back, uh, bankrupt in, back in 2008, but Fuji still makes Polaroid film, or Instafilm, they call it, uh, because uh, actually these are still used in, in uh, making passport photos across the globe in many uh, smaller countries. So what I did, I went out to the stock show over the past week, and I shot uh, several uh, pictures, Polaroids, and here we have a guy named Anthony Luna. He's got a cow that he called uh, Ruby. And what we're going to do is make a Polaroid transfer. Actually, a Polaroid emulsion lift is called. And what we're going to do is take this picture off its base and translate it to a piece of watercolor paper that I have standing by. All right, so in order to do that, we've got a few things. We've got a basin of cold water. We've got a piece of watercolor paper, the Polaroid, and a hot kettle of uh, boiling water. First thing we need to do is take the watercolor paper and dip it in the cold water. Just run it through, get the paper a little wet, activate the pores that are in that watercolor paper. Any other kind of artist paper that has a, uh, a thick consistency will work on this. Just let it drip off. And what I'm going to do is just take a squeegee and squeegee the excess off. All right, now, what we're going to do is, these pictures are actually adhesed, uh, got glue that fixes them together. So we're going to cut this image out just along the borders. We're going to turn it into a square photo that you see on Instagram nowadays. This is the original Instagram. If you uh, grew up back in the late 70s or early 80s like I did, there was only one way to share pictures right then on the spot, and that was from Polaroid. All right, well, what we're going to do is we're going to take this hot kettle of water, and we're going to bring the water temperature up to about 120 degrees. And what that's going to do is peel apart that adhesive. Let's see how we're doing here. Let's go ahead and dip the picture in. A little more hot water. And after about 30 seconds or a minute, that picture is going to start to release. So while that's going on, we're going to come back over here to our watercolor paper. And uh, in order for the picture to eventually stick on here, what I like to do is put a little bit of a clear acrylic base down. This dries perfectly clear so it won't mess with the color of your photograph. Unless you're going for that. Just going to smear it around a little bit and get a little on there. Okay, so now when we put that down, when it dries, the picture will stay right in its place. So we come over here and agitate this picture just a little bit. Now, Polaroid, as I mentioned, went bankrupt back in 2008. But there's this wonderful company called the Impossible Project. And what they're doing is they're making film that is Polaroid, essentially, or instant film, that will fit your old SX-70 uh, Polaroid cameras, probably the ones that you grew up with. And, you know, uh, grandma, uncles were taking pictures of you back in the 70s. So these, this film is still, uh, uh, you can still find it. You know, it's still available if your camera still works. As we can see, this image is just starting to peel back a little bit. We don't want to force it. It'll just slowly come off. There we go. Now I bet I can just reach down there and grab that now. All right, what we have here the transparency, and I gotta dip my hands in the hot water. So we 
have here is uh, Anthony's picture here in a transparency form. Now I'm going to unroll it with my fingers. That way when we take it over to the paper, all we have to do is slap it down. And now that image has been, the emulsion has been transferred over to this watercolor paper. Now I'll just take my brush in order to unwind it a little bit. And the fun thing with this is you don't have to be faithful to the borders. You can bend it around, you can give it a texture, you can skew it, you can twist it. Just whatever you feel like is good with the image. So we're going to just, we're going to keep Anthony's face here straightened out. It's the same thing with his cow here. But we're going to mess with the border a little bit. Now normally I'm going to wait, usually wait for this to dry, but with Instagram you see a lot of weird borders on things. You see painted borders. Uh, Hipstamatic did that for a while. Um, Instagram followed suit. Um, and there's a lot of other uh, social media camera apps that do the exact same thing. So we're going to take a little bit of black acrylic on this one. We're going to sort of use a very dry brush. I'm just going to paint along the edges. The best part about this is you do not have to be picky in any way. I'm almost treating it like a watercolor, even though it's acrylic paint. All right. Just get it how you like it. All right. Well, that's a Polaroid emulsion lift. If you still got some of those old cameras, you know, feel free to have some fun with it. This is a way I used to have a little fun in the darkroom, a little change of pace off of traditional photography. But there you go. Thank you.